Hey, it's Jeremy here. I have another tutorial for you and I'm going to be showing you the new freeform gradient tool in Illustrator CC 2019. You can see here I've got two artboards. I was playing around with it just to show you guys what it can do. You get these really cool gradients and this new tool is sort of like a combination between the mesh tool and the gradient tool and they've sort of combined it together to make it really flexible and cool to make custom abstract gradients, which is super useful now. So there's a couple of examples of what you can do and now we're going to create one for ourselves. So I've got my gradient panel a window up. So you want to go to the top left corner, click on window and you want to go halfway down and see gradient and you want to click that and you'll get this window. From this, what we want to do is make a rectangle, press M for the rectangle tool and drag out a box to cover the artboard. I'm just going to select one of these colors here that I have for now. And what I'm going to do is you can see now we've got three options in your gradient panel. You want to make sure that all the options are open, not hidden. So you click on the little three lines and make sure they're not hidden. So you want to show all options, which is pretty cool. So you can see here, we've got the linear gradient, the radial, and then we have the free form, which is the third one. We want to click that and you can see what it has done. It's added four new points. So you can see I've got one, two, three, four, and you can see on my gradient panel, I've got, it says draw, it says points. We've got two options. We've got points and we've got lines. So we can choose which style we want to use. They're pretty much, they're very similar. They just function a little differently when you're adding the points. So what I can do with these points, I can click on them and I can actually drag them and move them. And as I'm moving them, it's actually editing the gradients live, as you can see there. I can also click it and go to my swatches panel on the right and select a different color. And I can select any color I can I want in the what the swatches panel. I can move it. I can also increase the spread as well. You can see how it's got this um, marching ants around the circle and it's got this little black dot. You want to select that and you can drag it out and it's going to increase the spread or the area of effect. So you can see that it increases the radius there. And you can see you can manually edit the spread on the side with the percentages here. You can select a percentage or type in a percentage. Just make sure you click on the right dot. So I can move dots around. I can select different colors. I can also add new dots by just left clicking anywhere on my object or shape. As you can see there. As I'm adding all these shapes. And you can also control Z and it will undo the dots you had. I can also press the shortcut G to make sure it goes back to the editing stage. If I press V for the selection tool, it's going to go back and just go into selection mode, but I can't edit the dots. So you can click edit gradient here on the right in my gradient window, or I can press G for the gradient tool and you'll see a little mouse or a plus sign on my mouse where my mouse is. So that's pretty flexible. We can move it. We can also edit the opacity. So I can click the opacity bar on my gradient window and drop it to 40%. And you can see there the color wears off and it goes to sort of a white color. So you can drop down the opacity as well. So that's pretty much how you use the freeform tool. I want to show you how the lines work. So first I want to go and delete some points so I can select on it and just press delete. Make sure you click on it on the point. Click delete. You can also click the little bin in the window over here, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to select, go to the draw and click on lines. And it's pretty much the same thing. I'm going to left click once. I'll just change the color. I'm just going to left click or create a point on a, a point that's already there. And what I want to do is click. And you can see now. Once you click on the second point, it makes a curve. So it sort of acts like the pen tool. So when I click the next point, it's going to curve as you can see there. So you don't have to, you don't have to hold down and drag. You just, you can just click, but I can always go back on the, on the line and actually create another point. And I can move this point around if I want to edit the curves like that. So I can move the points individually and I can create more points by left clicking on the path. Just make sure your mouse is clicking hard on it so it registers it. So that's pretty cool. And then I can go ahead, you know, change colors. 
So you can play around and test out if you like using line or or points. Maybe you need a specific um, you know path or way you need the gradient needs to look on your design. So you can see there with those lines there. That's how it looks like. And you can go ahead and delete them. And when you delete the point, it's actually just going to go back and join the last two connections, as you can see there. So it will just use the, the closest dot and just connect it to the second dot. So that's pretty cool. You can see they have multiple lines. So it's really fun, you know, go play around with it. It's a really cool tool. You can, you know, do it all live and move it around. It's just really powerful and you can make some awesome gradients and it'll be cool to see some stuff from you guys. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. You know, leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more design content every week. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.